Five, four, three, two, one. Hello humans, Retro Rocket Man here. Today we're going to be looking at a Nerf Maverick as a grappling gun for Batman. So with a few slight modifications, I figured this would come up a treat. As you can see here, it's already sanded off all the insignia and the warning labels, as I've done so in previous um, videos. using a couple of wings off an Imaginext Batmobile, uh, one of their many versions, and this was a wing function that would fold over the car, which I removed and now I'm going to uh, repurpose them for a hinged feature on my grappling hook. So I'm just starting by cutting the uh, hinged portions so they, they uh, slot together nicely. As you can see, they, they uh, look quite good. They, they do look like a grappling hook. They've even got the Batman logo on, and they open and close. And I'm using a, an empty spray canister to slot into the gun, and then to fix the grappling hook to the gun with the canister. Outside we go to prepare the gun for painting. The usual primer coat goes on first to cover up all those high visual colours and uh, get it ready for the final coat of the black. This gives you a blank canvas to work to. It looks a lot better already. Now to hit it with the black, just an overall even coverage of the main colour of the gun. Now it looks like something Batman would have in his arsenal, at least it's a start anyway. There's a nice sat satiny finish to it. Grappling hook all put together. Now I've sprayed it silver to give it a more metallic look, take away from the plastic, but it's still far too shiny and brand new for my liking. So now I'm going to hit it with the black shoe polish. I generally don't do anything without black shoe polish because I just love the way it's so easy to tarnish high shine finishes, it sort of dulls them down a bit. This is a dabbing technique. Um, to create a texture on the on the surface. You can do it as little or as much as you like depending on the finish you're after. I'll dabble with this more and um, to, to make it look more uniform, not quite so dirty. And now the shoe polish on the uh, underside. It's got all this lovely sculpt detail, like a very industrial looking art deco almost piece. I want to highlight and bring out the black shoe polish does exactly that by painting it on and then rubbing it off you can see here how it all pops it's quite a dramatic change compared to the other side and uh, it just looks like he's he's been using this many times over and as you can imagine it would get a lot of wear and tear so I'm just trying to emulate that 
final final result is uh, something a bit more believable, I suppose. And it certainly doesn't look as plastic as it originally did. Now to um, put some contrast on the gun, I'm painting it certain areas of the gun with a, uh, a uh, gun metal finish just to break up the black, give it a bit more interest, just to highlight certain features and functions of the gun, just to make it look nice. Places like the trigger and the base of the hand grip. And, uh, other areas, subtle areas, just to um, break it up. I've decided to paint the hand grip red and then I'm going to dull this down far too bright for my liking uh, with some brown shoe polish to give it a bit more of a leather timbery leather look and here's a shoe polish going on now and uh, as you can see it's a very bright red glossy red finish so I have to, had to hit this with a couple of coats of the brown shoe polish and I've painted it on and left it on. I haven't wiped it away. And you can see here how that has definitely browned off the grip. Makes it a bit more in keeping with the other colours of the gun. Not quite so contrasting. And now I'm just giving other areas raised areas of the gun a touch of silver to uh, accentuate those areas as well um, a little bit of silver accenting to emulate scratches and scrapes that's easy for you to say and also an all over dry brushing method as well scratches on the, on the gun surface from obviously being used a lot in a lot of precarious situations that Batman finds himself in. It's one of his go-to gadgets to get out of trouble. So by just liberally going over it with, uh, with a brush lightly coated with silver paint, just barely touching the surface, just catches all those edges and highlights the, the, these the sculpted features of the gun. Gives it a very used appearance. Just get out, it's catching those, those raised areas and really bringing them out. You might notice that the, uh, the, the Nerf bullets I've also painted with the copper. And uh, just to give them a bit more realism. This is a decorative finish on an old hairbrush that that, um, that I've used because it was just being thrown out, and uh, lo and behold, it, it fits quite nicely on the on the uh, top of the gun there to give it a bit more of a, an architectural feature, and uh, it just dresses up the gun just that bit more. Another uh, empty spray can that uh, I've sprayed silver and uh, I'm going to be wrapping some plastic tubing around this to create another 
function to the gun. Obviously, if this is a grappling gun, you're going to need grappling cable, and it's got to be, it's got to look like it comes from somewhere. So this is just my idea to uh, another addition to to add to the gun to make it look different and more interesting, and also to make it actually look like a grappling gun, albeit high concept. simply place it on the bottom here. I've got an extra empty canister I've stuck on the end to dress it up even more and um, it runs on compression. So uh, there you have it humans. I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. It's not technically based on specifically anything from the Batman universe. It's just a concept that I, I came up with, with what I've had literally lying around the house. So it's, it's, a, it's a project that anybody could uh, have a go at. And really your imagination is only limited by what you obviously have available to you. But um, you can certainly make something out of nothing. So this is Retro Rocket Man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs>